I used it in teaching research design and research methods for our doctoral training program. We tend to run those sessions in a roundtable format, but we have a slides presentation component. And then really a lot of it is about discussion, honing on certain points that some of the doctoral candidates would find useful. And so how I used it is, depending on where the conversation went, switch between the presentation mode, which is the most familiar version of how to use a screen, to then actually using it as an interactive whiteboard. Something that struck me during the session, it's happened before using other media or materials, but that is very powerful in terms of what you can do with an interactive display. You can have a storytelling component that literally starts with a blank slate and then builds up the critical aspects. But so cognitively, you're allowing the student or your partner to not have to keep track of a whole bunch of information or noise on a page, but immediately just have the full attention on everything iteratively building up. I think what's really interesting is that it doesn't it didn't feel like it was a very different experience at all, which to me is quite important. I think the familiarity of something that just looks like a screen, but more like more like enhancing, like scaling up or making more open its impact, is just a nice way to enhance something rather than disrupt fundamentally how things are run.